Attention, are you experiencing the same frustration as me? Longing for captivating content, only to find that K-Energy or 3D printed pulse motor hasn't released any new videos lately? And let's face it, watching yet another hilarious cat video just doesn't cut it anymore. Perhaps it's time to shift gears from watching to creating. Have you noticed how K achieves those mesmerizing pulse motor signals by utilizing an Arduino pulse width modulator? I know you want to try it too, but the thought of accidentally damaging a precious Uno is holding you back. Wouldn't it be better to take a more affordable risk with a Nano? Look no further because I have the perfect solution for you. Brace yourself for an Arduino Nano socket board equipped with onboard power and a built-in potentiometer. This incredible device is not only rechargeable via USB-C, but it also allows you to adjust the Nano's input voltage to suit your preferences. Additionally, it features a convenient voltmeter that accurately displays your boost voltage. I'll let this background footage play while I explain what's happening. It's quite easy to follow along. If you want to slow down the process, simply pause the screen. All the necessary parts for this project were purchased from Amazon. Here are some additional details about this device. The battery used is a lithium-ion battery with a capacity of 600 milliamp hours, which is protected by a battery management system, BMS. The BMS output is connected to a power switch on the positive side, and then it goes to a boost converter. The output from the boost converter is used to power the Arduino Nano. To make the connections, you can connect the boost converter's negative terminal to the Nano's ground pin, and the boost converter's positive terminal to the Nano's voltage input pin, the Nano has convenient terminal boards for easy pin connections. This setup is perfect for any Arduino project. In future videos, I will demonstrate the various uses of this device. I hope you can see the value of this configuration. If you're interested in building one yourself, please visit my store where you can find the 3D printer files at a great value. I'm even considering selling kits or fully assembled products for those who don't have a printer or prefer not to replicate these ideas. Feel free to share your thoughts on this subject in the comments section. Now enjoy the rest of this silent build video. Thank you for visiting and I'll see you in the next one.